This lesson aims to help you maximize your practice time by using what I'm going to refer to as compound guitar exercises. Now these are exercises that target multiple areas of your playing at the same time and therefore it enables you to get more work done in less time so to speak. Let's start with today's example which sounds something like this. So I call this the pre-bend scale drill, and it reinforces both your oral acuity, which is the power of your ability to hear sounds before you play them and to recognize sounds when you listen to them. It also improves your fretboard visualization and your bending accuracy. It's a really powerful, powerful exercise for developing all of those things. And it's pretty challenging too. So I would also say with this one, if you aren't already, I would encourage you to maybe try a lighter set of strings, maybe stick some nines on, it's going to make this a whole lot easier. But of course, if you are a devoted 10s or 11s or, or heaven help you even more type player, then stick with them because this will help your muscle memory immeasurably. Now, the process of playing this exercise is very, very simple. We take any scale that you like, in this case, I've chosen G major and I'm going to play it as a three note per string shape starting on fret number three down here on the low E string. We're going to get this. We'll get three, five, seven. Same frets on the A string, three, five, seven. We're going to get four, five, seven on the next two strings. Shifting up to position number five, we'll get five, seven, and eight on the next two strings. Now, it doesn't matter what scale you choose, you can pick any one you like. I would encourage you to start with a familiar one, but what we're going to do is we're going to take every fourth note. So if you count one, two, three, four, every fourth note, one, two, three, four, that fourth note, instead of fretting it, we're going to bend up to it with a pre-bend. Now, if you're not familiar, a pre-bend is where you bend to the pitch before you strike the string. Now this makes it much more difficult because you've got to have the muscle memory in place to know how far you're bending. And you also have to recognize the interval away from the fret that you're currently on. So let's say for argument's sake, I was gonna play this C note right here as my fourth, uh, my fourth note in the scale. I would play G, A, B, and then I would have to know that C, even though it's here, I would have to know that it's a semitone away from this B note, and I would have to know to bend a semitone. I would also then have to know what that feels like because I have to play it and execute it in pitch before I actually strike the string. So it's not like bending up where you get this. And you can kind of gauge what it sounds like as you bend. You have to be in position and at the pitch before you strike the string. So it's a real test like that. Once you've done it, you carry on up the scale. So we'd start again. This would be the new one. I'm going to get one, two, three, four. And in this instance, what I'd have to do is take this F sharp note. I'd have to figure out that my next note was a G note and it's a semitone away. I'd have to bend a semitone. And I would have to do that using my first finger. You'll notice my fourth finger was doing the last one. These two fingers are not fingers that see a whole lot of bending action. So it's also a good way to practice bending with every finger on your hand, which is pretty cool. So once we've done that, we've got to fire this G note. Our next one is going to be here. We'll go one, two, three. And then our next note would be this D note here, but we have to bend from a C. So I would have to know that this was a tone and so on and so forth. So it kind of improves your linking of shapes to intervals, which is very cool. It improves your oral accuracy, your listening accuracy, and it improves the accuracy of your bends. Now, if this is too challenging and you just can't get it in tune, the best thing that you can do is start this exercise with without pre-bends, so just do it with normal bends. So you could play something like this. And so on. That's gonna give you a gentle introduction to this. And if you're acclimating to a new string gauge, I normally use nines, we have tens on this guitar just because it feels good, it sounds good. If you're acclimating to a new string gauge, this is a good way to get a feel 
for how these string gauges feel. Now, this is actually a really cool trick for live playing as well. If you're switching between guitars with different feels and different string gauges, this kind of bending exercise will very quickly um, kind of acclimate your hand. It'll kind of calibrate you to bending to the right pitches automatically, which is very cool. Now, descending is another beast entirely. I'll just show you the first part. If we start here, this B note up here is gonna be, let's call that note number one, and we come down one, two, three, we would have to get this F sharp right here, that'll be note number four, but we have to bend up to it and we can't bend down. So I'd have to skip one note further ahead in the scale and then bend that up. In this case, it's gonna be an E note, bending up with my first finger, a whole tone, we'd get this.